nobody here. Very, very rough. Yeah, I think we got a fish on, guys. I think we got a fish on. Yep. We got a fish on. First one of the day. It's windy and kind of rough out here, but we got a fish. Alicia was yelling at me, you got fish on! No! <laughs> Looks like a whiting. We're hoping for Pompano because we had a nice cold front. Looks like a big old whiting. Oh no, never mind. Is it a catfish or a whiting? No, it's a whiting. Okay, good. I thought for a second it was a catfish. Alright guys, big old whiting. We're gonna let him go. Nice size though. We'll let you get back into the surf. There you go. Off you go, buddy. We want a pompano, but that's a good sign. Come on guys, fish on. Sorry, I wasn't filming, but that was a nice bite. That was a nice bite. That's the kind of bite we're looking for. Hopefully that's a nice pomp. It's been a little slow, so I turned the camera off, but that was a good little bite there. And we'll see what we got. Here it comes. What do we got? A jack. Oh, it's a jack. It's a jack. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whiting. That's a whiting. I was watching Alicia reel in her fish. Here you go. No, Luke. And this tech foot rod is only bringing in some small fish. Yeah, she's not reaching where we need to reach. We like the 12 footer for sure. So we'll be we'll be sending the uh, the 10 footer back. Hear him croaking. He's he's telling us, put me back. Put me back, Jack. And we're gonna do just that. You're supposed to be a pompano. All right, off you go. Yeah. I feel the rain coming. We're gonna get wet. What do you got? She says she's got a fish. You got a piece of sea plum? Yep. Actually, I think that's that's a croaker. That's yeah. When they've got the big old nose and that one that you caught earlier, that big old one. That's fish or uh, snook candy. Yeah. I think he just he just croaked. There he goes. Yeah. He's croaking. There you go. I don't know if you guys can hear that with all the wind, but he's croaking. That's a croaker. Snook candy. That's always the running joke down here in South Florida. Anything you don't know what it is, it's snook candy. <laughs> That rod's getting bites. We're hoping that it just goes off. We'll see. Definitely getting nibbled on. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's a fish on. Well, maybe not. Sure felt like he, he took a... Oh, 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 there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. I don't think he's on there. Well, unless it's little, ah, it feels like there's something on there. Might be a little fish. Yeah, there's a fish on there. I was wrong. It was on there. Another whiting.
Good size whiting, I'll tell you what. But we are looking for the pompanoes. We want the pompanoes. So off you go. This had some nice bites on that rod, but they didn't take it all the way. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Now it's on, now it's on, now it's on. Now it's on. Now it's on. Oh, it feels like a good fish too. Come on in. Come on, Pompano. We want a nice yummy Pompano to take home and eat. Good fish, yeah. I see him swimming in the surf right there. What do we got? What do we got? Pompano! Pompano! That's big enough, I think. Oh, keeper! Keeper Pompano! That's what we wanted. That's what we've been going for. Nice one. Yeah, you felt good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I put that whiting back. Nice. That's a good pump. That's a good pump. Okay, we're, we're we're ordering Alicia up a 12 foot rod. She don't like the 10 footer, she it's says. Not, it's, not, it's not doing its job. It's not doing its job. Guys, keep that in you know reference if you're in South Florida area. South Florida. You know, I think the longer rods are the deal. That one is close. We might go ahead and measure him just in case. Yeah, just measure. When they're close on the bucket lid trick, we just want to make sure. Oh, oh yeah, good. 12. We're 12. Yeah, That's 12. Yeah, guys. So we're an inch over. Good job. And we got a nice thing of ice right put here. Them on the ice. Yeah, that's perfect. We're going to put them in the ice. Good job, Daddy. They're just coming in. Get it back out. There. Yeah, we got to get back out. Get it back out. All right, here's why, why she likes the 12 footer. Because to get those pumps, we're gonna load it up and bomb it on out there. We gotta get it out there to get the pumpano. <laughs> Luke's having fun. No, no, buddy. No, no. Yeah, it's on. That's on. Let's go see what mommy's got. We need one more pompano for dinner. Just keep it tight. It's all right, keep it tight. Sometimes they don't fight until the end. Get it in, come on, what are you doing? Big one. Yeah, that is a big one. Hang on, we don't want to break the rod. Holy, Holy crap, crap, that's, that's huge. That's huge. That's Here, open the bale, honey. Just stick Woo! the rod, stick the rod in the rod holder. That's a good one. That's a really good one, guys. Nice guy. All right. It felt tiny. I said they don't fight until the end. Wow, look at that fish. That's what? a fatty. Whoa. That is a fatty bobatty. See, and that hook just almost fell right out. Here that hook almost just fell right out. Look, something something swiped at I him, know. I think, coming I think in. That's so why I said keep it tight and real. I was. <sighs> That's a nice one. That's daddy's dinner. Mommy gets the little one. We're not done yet. <laughs> That's on. That's on. I hope the fish is still on there. It doesn't feel like it. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on there. It's on there. Fish on, guys. Another one. Another one. Here it comes. I see it. Pompano. Pompano. 
Or is that a palm fret? Oh, what do we got? A palm fret? Palm fret! Palm fret! That's awesome. That's not a keeper, I don't think. But that is a palm fret. Cool. First one I caught one of those. All right, hang on, buddy. I'm going to let you go. All right. Little palm fret. We'll go put you back so we can catch a pompano. All right, guys. Delicious and quick and easy one for you today. So we've got our pompano fillets. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our pan started. We're making a uh, pompano munier, which is uh, like a French recipe for... Uh, basically like a butter garlic sauce with capers uh, really super simple um, and we're pairing that with a nor super fancy cheddar broccoli rice uh, my kids love this so who am I to complain and it sounds like it would go really well with it so uh, we're going with the rice and the uh, the pompano munier and so let's go ahead and get cracking on that so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna turn our stove oops wrong one we're gonna turn the stove on to medium so about there and then for the rice we're gonna put that up to high because we want to bring that to a boil and so we'll start that first what we're gonna do is I've got one and three quarters cups of water it calls for one and three quarters cups of water and then a quarter cup of milk so I make it really easy by just doing a one and three quarters and then I just add actually that's just three quarters so we'll need to do one more cup of water so then we're just gonna add to the one cup line. There we go. And now we just need to add one more cup of water in there. We have a helper. <laughs> there we go. Let me Ready? grab one more cup of water. We're making pompano munier with rice. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? That sounds really good. Yes, it sounds really good. Let's go get another cup of water. All right, so we got one more cup of water. We'll pour that right in there, and we're gonna bring that to a boil. We also need one tablespoon of butter. So I went ahead and got that out already. And we're gonna add in our contents of our fancy schmancy knorr, <laughs> nor cheddar broccoli rice. So we'll pour that right in. We're gonna mix that up, and then all we wanna do is just bring that to a boil. Our pan over here is heating up, and we're gonna add some oil to that. So we'll mix this on up. Bring it to a boil and then it's just going to simmer for seven minutes. All right, so we'll wait for that to come to a boil. Uh, next, we're going to split our butter in two. So it wants two tablespoons for the pan and then two tablespoons we're reserving for our sauce. So we're going to wait for our pan to get hot. We're going to try our little our water trick and uh, make sure the pan's nice and hot. But in the meantime, we're going to season and bread our pompano. So in this small little bowl, I'm just going to put some flour. Like I said, this one's super duper simple. So just a little bit of flour dredge. And then we're going to do just salt and pepper. I'm doing some white pepper on there just so it's nice and uh, nice and mild. That's boiling already over here, so we're good. We're going to reduce the heat on this down to low so it stays at a simmer sorry if you guys are getting steamed on out and that's good and we're gonna cover and I usually just push it off to the side just a little bit so it just doesn't overboil all right for ingredients like I said we've got salt ground white pepper or black pepper whichever you prefer I've got some capers I had capers already but I bought a new one just in case uh, it says two tablespoons Maybe it said teaspoons. I'll, I'll link the recipe down below, but uh, two teaspoons or tablespoons of garlic. I eyeballed it. You know, that's four or five, whatever. Um, <laughs> we got the milk and the water for the rice. And then I went ahead and juiced up a lemon over here. Um, it said just squeeze the lemon over there, but I actually prefer doing it uh, squeezed into the bowl so that I don't have seeds. So let's go ahead and get our pompano ready. We're going to cut this, this bag open here on this side. We've got a nice dull knife. That's always, always awesome. My plan was to season right in the bag, so hopefully we can do that. Put that just a little bit more. There we go. So 
So we'll open that out up just like a pouch. All right. Pan's feeling good. All right, so we're gonna do salt. A little bit of salt all around. And a little bit of our white pepper. And then same thing on the other side. So we'll just flip these guys over. These are some nice chunky fillets on that one that uh that I caught. Or actually, no, that's one that Alicia caught. That thing was that thing was beast, and she thought it was tiny coming in. That was pretty funny. Alright, a little bit more white pepper. White pepper is just a little bit milder than uh, than black pepper, and since pompano is a nice mild fish, we really want to taste the flavor. So normally this uh, Meunier is done with it like a Dover sole, and that's how I've had it. I had it in uh, in New Orleans, and uh, it was done with like a Dover sole, um, and it was really good. But uh, I looked up a recipe. It said uh, they did it with whiting, and if if it could be done with whiting, it could definitely be done with pompano because pompano is even better than whiting for sure. So. Let's go ahead and test our, let's test our pan with just a little bit of lemon juice. Oops. We got a little bit of pompano in there already. But we'll test with just a little lemon juice. And it's still heating up. But we can go ahead and add our oil for now. So we're just going to do about two tablespoons of oil. I like to do just enough to kind of coat. And then we're going to do half of our butter, like I said. We'll add that right on in. And we're going to mix those together. Whenever you're doing um, sautéed or anything like that, if you do oil and butter, it keeps the butter from, from uh, browning and burning. So a lot of times, you know, brown, butter will burn if you have it on, you know, relatively higher heat and don't mix it in with the oil. So the oil gives it basically a higher flash point is what it does. So that's just a little bit of olive oil, like I said. We'll let that do its thing. And let's go ahead and do our dredge and as we dredge we're just gonna uh, we'll add these to a plate all right we'll add them to a plate because I want to I want to cook them all at the same time I don't want to dredge them then throw them in there and then have some be done and the others not be done so we're just gonna dredge in here just like this we just want to get just a light coating of flour basically and that's it it's just gonna give us just a tiny little bit of a crust This is about ready. Oh yeah, looking perfect. And one last nice big one. That's good because I'm hungry. I actually have hockey tonight, so. I don't know, fish before hockey? What do you think? Am I crazy? It's our playoff game. <laughs> I don't care. All right. I think this is light enough dinner that I'm going to be fine. All right, so we're going to put that one right in the pan there. That's perfect. And we'll do that other nice and thick one as well. Right on in. And we only have these on medium heat, guys. So it's, you know, shouldn't be too crazy when you put these in. We're just looking for a nice sizzle. And I think we might just have enough room for that last one. Pretty dang close. I think we're good. All right, so we're going to put this back over here on the heat. Give it a nice stir. Where'd my fork go? Give this a nice stir. Make sure that it's simmering. It is looking good. All right, there we go. And we're just going to cook these for probably about four or five minutes aside until they're kind of, you know, golden on one side and then flip them on over. All right, we look like we're getting a nice little golden brown on one side. Let's test. Looks pretty good. Ooh, look at that. Pretty close, guys. Pretty close. We got to go for another, I'd say, minute. We're, we're lightly golden right now. We want golden brown. So one more minute, and then we're going to flip these on over. All right, so I think we're ready to flip here. So let's go ahead and get underneath this one. And we're gonna just flip that right on over, just like that. That is absolutely perfect, guys. Perfect. 
Same thing with this one. Give her a little flip. This one as well. And I'll rearrange these so that they're all covered in the pan a little better. And last but not least, this giant one right here. I could definitely see myself eating that one in about five to ten minutes. <laughs> so I was wrong. It actually said uh, five to ten minutes per side. But that's the color you're looking for. So we want a nice light golden brown just like that. That is absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it about another five to eight minutes or so on this side until we have a nice light golden brown. We're going to take these off and put them on the plates. And then we're going to do our sauce right directly in the same pan. Super easy. The garlic, the lemon juice, the rest of the butter, and the capers. And uh, I'm actually going to kind of mash up my capers just a little bit. It says a, a tablespoon of capers, so not much. Uh, but I'm going to kind of mash them just a little bit to give them a little bit more flavor. And they'll go right in the pan. You kind of simmer that down for a minute or two and pour it right over the fish. Super, super easy. Let's check our, bro our uh, cheddar broccoli rice. Almost done. I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the heat because that is looking perfect. All right, I think we're done. We've got our helper right here, Riley. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> she wants to be the first taste tester. So let's go ahead and pull these off. We're going to flip over and make sure. Oh, yeah, that's so good. Yeah. Looks so good, huh, Riley? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. that's perfect. That's what we wanted to see. That's exactly how I wanted to see it. So, is those, the broccoli rice almost ready? It is almost ready, honey. Yes. All right. So that's going to be Daddy's because he needs a nice big one. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add our remaining butter right into our pan. It's going to pick up all those yummy skillet nuggets and all that kind of good stuff. We're going to let that basically a slight almost slightly brown so we want to get that about two three minutes and get that just slightly browned and melted and then we're going to add our lemon juice our capers which wow, I did. It's already getting melted. yep and i forgot to get my capers out so i'm gonna do that while that's melting because they come in sauce so we want to dump those into a jar we want about that much. All right. And our butter is already starting to get nice and brown. So now we're going to add our garlic. Wow, that's... Yeah. Okay. That'll brown right away. Then our lemon juice. And we're going to mix this up. Steaming hot. And then, yep, steaming hot. That's right, Riley. And then our capers. Right in there. Wow, they look like green beans. They look like green beans, that's right. We're going to give these just a quick little mash so they release some flavor. And stir everything on up. Wow. And then this. Look, this stove is... Okay, this Riley. Stove. You ready for this to go over the fish? Yeah. Okay, so now we're just going to pour this right over the top of our fish. Just like that. A little bit of capers on there. Just like that. And that... Like that. Mine. Yeah, that's right, honey. That is Pompano Munier. Wow. The broccoli rice is almost done. And I believe the broccoli rice is done. So, okay. let's go ahead and turn that off. And uh, let me do a little taste test here. Oh my god, that's so good. Let's check on Riley's broccoli rice. Wow. Oh, it looks perfect. Yeah, it looks perfect. Yes, it does. Look how it's steaming hot. Mm-hmm. Do you want to taste test the broccoli rice? Um, it looks kind of hot. It might be a little hot. Um, I'll blow on it for you. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay, it should be cooled off. Here you go. Mmm. Is it good? Is it hot? Mm -mm. No? Is it good? Okay. Mm. Perfect. Perfect? High five. Boom. You're the best maker. Thank you. <laughs>
With compliments like that, I mean, how could you go wrong? Let's go ahead and try this pompano. I'm going to give myself a little bit of rice here. And then I'm going to fix everybody's plates, guys. And we're going to have dinner. And then wish me luck for my hockey championship. Hopefully, wow, I could bring home fish looks another really trophy. Good. It does look really good, huh? Yeah. My fish looks really good, too. What do you think, guys? Looks delicious, right? Mmm. Is it good, Daddy? Wow. That's super good. You want to try some? Yeah. It's hot. I'm going to blow it off, okay? Okay. The water always blows my food. Yeah. The girls love fish. Here you go. Mmm. A plus? You want the rest? <laughs> when they take a big bite like that, you know it's good. Alright, high five. And we're out of here, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, please. It helps us out. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you like watching us uh, cook dinner for you. We're going to go eat. Alright, wave to everybody. Say bye-bye. Bye. See you in the next one.